it's time for volleyball action in front of Trooper Arena as the Eastwood Troopers come back home after the Hootsman Tournament. Welcome to the KEHS Film and Broadcast YouTube channel. I'm Sebastian Perez Navarro alongside Saúl Preciado and we get ready for Trooper Volleyball. These two teams faced each other on this past Friday where the Troopers caught a 2-0 victory. Now, the change in the setting is not neutral, but this time we sit in front of Trooper Arena. So, how does the change in settings affect the outcome of this game? I really feel like the outcome of this game will be a lot better for Eastwood. We're in front of our home fans. I really hope we get this win. Time for volleyball action. The team setting up to go. Eastwood standing with a record of 15 and 5 coming into this game. However, for the Centennial Hawks, they barely started playing August 19th, 10 days later than the Eastwood Troopers. So, Ul, will that have any effect today? I feel like the Eastwood Troopers are more ready for this. Probably the Centennial Hawks are more prepared than the tournament pass this Saturday. So it will be a great game. We're getting ready for the serve. Madison Hernandez will be the one to serve it up. As the Hawks get ready to go. Troopers on the right side, Hawks on the left. Up front for the Troopers is Cheyenne Olivas. Getting ready, getting set. We had a funny story, and there goes the whistle. It's time. Serves it up. Able to take it, sets it up. Can they get the attack? Saved. Now setting it up, the attack. Got it! First point awarded to the Eastwood Troopers. Got the kill in. That was a great point right there for the Eastwood Troopers. Notched in by Olivia Viega, scores the first point in the game, and in fact, she leads the team in kills. Her kills per set is 3.1. Swept up again by the Troopers, misses the dig, and another point rewarded, 2-0. Troopers to serve up once again. Sends it. Centennial Hawks looking to get points on the board. Send this one far, it's saved. Goes out of bounds on the touch of the Troopers. The Hawks score the first one. We stand two and one. Hawks to serve for the first time today. Results in a 2-2 tie. That was a very good set. So what we touched on in the beginning of the game, the Troopers are coming off the post main tournament where they went 4-2. Nachi wins against Chippen, against Centennial, against Clint, against rival Hanks, but ultimately falling in the last two games against rival Hanks and Las Cruces. But what does that have to say about the talent of this team as that one goes out of bounds, rewarded point to the Hawks. The talent of this team is really good, and hopefully we can get to come out and beat Centennial again. Troopers up to serve. That one out, a hot touch, market 3-3. Three, three. You don't want to be making those types of mistakes, do you? No, not at all. Cheyenne Olivas will be the one to serve it up. Sends it away, out of bounds. And after jumping to a 2-0 lead, the Hawks not 4-3. However, still early on in the set. That one looked like a good serve, but just a little bit out of bounds. The Hawks, it'll be Marion Bishop to serve it. Sends it away. Just the touch out of bounds. Hawks match another point. The Hawks are up five to three over the Troopers. Oh. 
overall, because we saw a really good start from the Troopers. But overall, it seems as though the Hawks have been taking command as that hit notched in by number 23, Hasiya from the Calada. Libra trying to save it from going out of bounds. A nice dig by Becca Muniz. However, can't save it, and now the Hawks in the blink of an eye are up by three. The Troopers tried to save that one, but just couldn't reach it. We stand six and three. Serving it up to the side. Save, trying to set up the attack. That one straight, but out of bounds. They keep getting good shots, but they just go right out of bounds. That one hit the right corner of the court. Bounced out of bounds, and now the Hawks lead 7-3 in the first set. Sends it off. Here comes the attack by Olivia Villegas. That one blocked. Now the Hawks, the counter, that went too much power and Troopers finally notch a point. Troopers finally get back on the scoreboard. Now it's seven to four. Overall, so what have you been seeing from the Troopers? They started off well, but then it seems as though a steep decline. However, getting back on the board is to serve up by Olivia Villegas. That one out of bounds hits the right corner. It'll be a point for the Centennial Hawks. You can feel the home crowd here really coming in effect. Feeling the effect. Setting it up, that one looked like it touched a fingertip. Sends it back to the middle. That one saved by Cheyenne Olivas. Here comes the set, the attack, that one. Inbounds. Trooper point. What a great point by the Eastwood Troopers. Madison Hernandez is able to strike that one. You can leave it and it's a drop. Sending it in. And the serve proves worthy. Eastwood gets another point out of the serve. The lead bounds, able to get the ace there. Bounce, serves it again. This one, the set, the attacking play by Molly Walton doesn't prove successful. The rally is still ongoing. The set again, Molly Walton with the attack. That one out of bounds, and in the blink of an eye, Troopers have knocked down four. Eastwood is really mounting a comeback right here. One thing to notice is Maureen Bishop, she's been helping with the sets. However, now the Centennial Hawks only lead by one. It's eight to seven. There goes the strong attack. That one blocked out. The Hawks still having aspirations. Sets it up. The attack. And a diving dig by Sharon Olivas. Can't save the ball from notching it. It's nine, seven Hawks. So, what'd you see from that dig? It was a really good attempt. Unfortunately, could not reach it. But hopefully, we'll get him back here. Ball sent through the middle. That one saved by Cheyenne Olivas. Sets it up. The attack to the middle. That one deflected and out of bounds in the hands of Elena O'Brien. Count it. 8-9. Trooper Hawks. Also really good hit. Just could not get enough hit on it. 9 for 2. 9 for 2. Okay. Call a timeout and here come the substitutions. Jordan Clark sends it away. This one tries to clear the dig. Really good. Sliding there. The attack by the Troopers. Right back in the air by the Hawks. Now here comes the attack. That one hits out of bounds. Molly Walton not able to hold the power on the attack. Results in a tie. 9-9. Troopers, Hawks. Sebastian Perez Navarro and Saul Preciado coming to you from the, e from the KEHS Film and Broadcast YouTube channel. Presenting live commentary of Eastwood Volleyball. Troopers versus Hawks as the Troopers notch that one. As a botched hit hits the net. Troopers up 10 none. Troopers just came back right now. Serves it up. Gets it on the board. That one, a leaping hit saved, but can't get it to get to stay out of bounds. Reward the point to Tespukia.
Excuse me, there. That point will be rewarded to Kayla Crespin. Here comes the rally ongoing. Slams it down, and what a save by Crespin. One that you've got to recognize, but the ball went out of bounds. And the point rewarded to the Eastwood Troopers. It doesn't matter what good of a block you have. If that ball goes out of bounds, it's still going to count a point at the opposition. And that was a really good save, too. That's also a really good save. But now the Eastwood Troopers are up 11 to 10. I see Arun Alcala, who's in there. Diving dig. However, Tess Fukua is able to notch it even. 11 11. A good diving attempt, but cannot reach it. Molly Walton will serve it up. The attack by Shayun Olivas. Now sets it up. Just before, able to be saved is Remarcava. Trying to lob it in. That one saved. Trying to get the attack. Send it through the middle. A diving dig made by Walton. That ball still in bounds. Riley still ongoing. Still in the air. Remarcava gets a touch on it. Here comes the attack. Stops it from going out of bounds. It's Walton. Now Bishop able to keep it in. Another diving dig by the Libro. Sends it inside. Hits the net. And the rally ends in a hot point. What a rally. That was a really good play right there by both teams. Let's talk a little about the Husman tournament. Obviously they went 4-2, and their performance resulted in a number three ranking and prep one power rankings. So what does that mean for this Trooper team? The Trooper team has long aspirations to be the best here in El Paso. We're trying to come out with another win at the same time we're here. Ball went out of bounds, resulting in the point for the East with Troopers tied 12-12. The chance from the student section incoming, leading right into our microphones. Cooper setting it up. Cheyenne looking to put it down, but it hits the net. 13-12 Hawks. The set is at a top fleet point, and the Hawks lead 13-12. What are some of the mistakes that you've been noticing from the set? Uh, Eastwood has been playing really good, so have the Hawks. Unfortunately, the Eastwood has been hitting the net a lot, and the Hawks have been doing a lot of good saves. As you preluded to, almost sending a net hit there. However, the rally still ongoing. Trying to slam it down to Cheyenne. However, that one saved by Walton. Putting it up as Fukua picks the net. Trooper point. That was a really good block by the Troopers. We're seeing Bishop in the front line with so many assists. How important of a factor is she going to play in the game? This is going to be a really important factor for the Troopers. She's coming up with the blocks and uh, generating points for the Troopers. And that one, hit with a little bit too much power off the assist of Bishop, results in another Trooper point. And now the Troopers look 14-13, Hawks down by one. Here comes the ongoing rally. That one placed up top. One more touch for the Troopers. Slam it down. Oh, wow. Barely before the off-bounds line. 15-13 Troopers. That was a really good kill. Brought their home runs, Alina Estrada. And now up to serve is Cheyenne Olivas. Bishop with the assist. Fukua with the attack. Results in a point. The Hawks. 15-14. Eastwood Troopers try to block it but could not get it. Oh. 
That one gonna touch on what Cheyenne will leave us. Here comes the attack. That one saved by Bishop. Now once again, but prevents it from going out of bounds is Walton. That one put up in the air. The assist made by Man 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 Hernandez. And Cheyenne Olivas, unsuccessful with her dig. Ball ends up hitting. Another point for the Hawks, tied at 15-15. That was really good hustle from the Hawks to make sure they didn't go out of bounds. Madison Hernandez and Myrene Bishop will be playing big roles for their respective teams. Both setting up the assists. Now that attack by Becca Muniz, unsuccessful. It was blocked out. Fukua with the light attack. Now the setup, the attack by Charlene Olivas. Doesn't prove successful. The Libro gets a hand on it. Troopers back on it. Set, attack, out of bounds. There's too much power in that shot. It went out of bounds. Marianne Bishop will come up to serve. And a nice dig there shown by Becca Muniz. And able to notch it through is still the inbound. The Hawks now up 17 to 15. Serving and up coming up with the dig is Asia Rubalcaba. Bishop able to get it. Now it goes to the middle, into the hands of Olivas. Now slamming it down! A nice kill by Olivia Villegas. That was a really good shot. No, no chance for the Hawks to get that one. 16-17, Troopers tow by one and set one. Villegas now the one up to serve. The assist by Bishop. The put down by Fukua. Too much power on it. Award the point to the Eastwood Troopers. This is a really interesting game. It's tied 17. Villegas will come up to serve. Sends it away into the arms of Fukua. Fukua slamming it down. And it did. Just touched the right corner. Calling it hot point. That was a really good kill right there. Up to serve. Student section here coming into effect. Now, we've seen a lot of participation from Olivia Villegas, and in fact, she has been a great hitter all season around. She leads the team in blocks, hit percentage, and kills, and in fact, in the Hoosman tournament, she took home the all tournament hitter, and she was part of the all tournament team, as that point was actually by the, by the Centennial Hawks. So, what does Olivia Villegas' achievements have to say about her as a player? She's a really good player. She's a really good player here for Eastwood. We're happy to have her here. Tied at 18-18. That one saved off by Cheyenne Olivas. And trying to put it down in a weird motion. We the the point. To the Centennial Hawks goes out of bounds in the hands of Becca Muniz, or you could say the fist. Just could not get the motion to put it over the net there. Overall, even now they're down 19-18. She got one last thing in the Hoosman tournament. Coach Bajak, head coach of the Eastwood Troopers volleyball team, was overall happy with the outing, staying on social media. It was an overall good weekend, and in fact, he went, his team went 4 and team, and his junior varsity team went undefeated at 3 and 0. Fukua sends it blazing. That one almost touched the ground. Muniz with the attack, that went no good. Put up in the air by Bishop. Bishop set the Fakia and the diving dig. Touch of Rubalcaba results out of bounds. Give the point to the Centennial Hawks up 2018. That was a really great dive, but did not get the dig there. We've seen some really impressive rallies so far. And that one out of bounds. And a timeout call by the Eastwood Troopers, chilling by three. So, your thoughts on what you see? I like how the Eastwood Troopers are playing, but they have been showing a lot of balls to the out of bounds. They have been playing, they have been hitting the net a lot. 
And the Centennial Hawks are playing really good too, as the Centennial Hawks are up 21 to 18. They are, they have the lead by three, and in fact, this is an outcome that probably not many expected, because they played in the Who's Man tournament, and in fact, they beat Centennial Eastwood, got a victory, 2-0. And now, in Trooper Arena, a setting that is not natural anymore, they're trailing by three, except one. It just goes to show that the Centennial Hawks really prepared for this one. They took the defeat on Saturday, but now they have come here into Eastwood and tried their very best to beat this team. The Centennial Hawks started a lot later than the Eastwood Troopers on August 19th, and in fact, they have had no team in 5A District 3 has participated in district action. No team in the Centennial Hawks division has played against each other. So technically, they're all tied for first. The touch by Rebulcaba. The attack sent in by Emma Morales. Goes out of bounds and the Hawk lead by four. Student section still hyped up. The Hawks just need three more points to win the set. 22-18 as we stand. Molly Walton will send in the serve. That was saved by Rebulcaba. Setting up, Muniz tries to slam it down. And another point for the Centennial Hawks. And another point that came of an out-of-bound hit. And the Hawks are now up by five. The serve sent low hit, out-of-bounds again. The serve was put into the area of the Eastwood Troopers. And after one hit, one deflection, goes out of bounds, and now the Hawks are one point away from ending the set at 24 to 18. Eastwood keeps hitting out of bounds, so you really have to fix that right there. Trying to prevent an early finish of the set. Troopers put it up, trying to slam it down. It's Kyra Joseph, and it works out in the end. Put it up the middle, 19-24. Eastwood gets a point back. Student session is really coming alive right now. Here we go, Troopers up to serve for the first time in what seems like forever. Jordan Clark was the one that served it up. Here comes slamming it down, it's Fuka! Fuka's hit, too powerful, 20-24. Timeout called for the Centennial Hawks. One point away from notching it up, but now the Troopers have scored two back-to-back. -back. The Troopers are making the comeback here, so the Centennial Hawks need to take a little break to talk it over. Overall, we've seen some really interesting rallies. Saul, what can be a part for these rallies being so long? These rallies being so long causes the players to get a little tired. Eastwood has looked very good, but they are hitting a lot of us on the bounce. The Hawks just need one more point, so I, I wonder what the strategy is going to be here. A little less remaining on the timeout, a little less than 25 seconds. Dangerous territory. The Hawks are very close to putting it away. However, who knows if they can? Troopers have scored back two back to back points as that notches the end of the timeout. Troopers getting back to position, so are the Hawks. Sending it in. Jordan Clark is the one. Now Bishop serves it up. Fukua tries to put it away and hits the back of the net. Market three straight for the Eastwood Troopers, 21-24. Eastwood Troopers with a great block right there. Clark will once again serve it up. Hits down the middle. Bishop with the assist. Fukua with the attack. That one saved by Sharon on Olivas. Olivas trying to put it back. Diving dig. Hits the net again. Another point for the Troopers. These will just score four consecutive points and are making a good comeback right now. We've seen some really heroic digs. 22-24. Clark serves it up. Off the forearms of Fakua. Putting away is Walton. Hits the net again! That is unbelievable! The Hawks have really let down right now as the Eastwood Troopers have come back. That's now 24 to 23. Troopers calling much needed timeout called by the Hawks. 
They were up 24-18, and just like that, at a finger snap, they allowed five points, and now the Troopers are one point away from allowing this not to be ended at 25. The Troopers have been rallying. The Troopers are playing really good, and the Hawks don't have an answer for it. We have experienced one heck of a set. You can hear the roars of the student section, the cheerleaders. Everyone is tied for the Eastwood Troopers. In fact, before the timeout was called, the Eastwood Troopers looked in their bench in confidence. Rubalcaba's face said it all. Said that they are ready to mark this comeback and ready to take this set. However, the difference is one point. Can the Hawks put it away? Bishop with the assist. Fukia sends it in the middle. That one saved off by Delian Bounds. Fukua able to prevent the attack from happening. Bishop sets up the attack. That one off the arms. Abdili in bounds. Olivas tries to put it away. Leaping save by Jordan Clark. Fukua sends it. Remarcaba gives it a nice set. Rally still ongoing. Rally still alive. Bishop gives a save. Fukia puts it away. Out of bounds. This will not end at 25. Tied 24-24. You can hear the roar from the student section on that part. We have just tied out 24-24 after being down 24-18. What a rally! But the rally ends! And the serve by Jordan Clark touches the back of the net. Results 25-24, but due to it being a one-point game, it cannot end. Hawks lead. A really big war right now. One hit, they get put away. Olivas tries to tie it up, and that marks the end of set number one. 26-24, and after comeback aspirations, the Troopers cannot put it away. It ends 26-24. Saul, your thoughts on set one? Set one was really interesting. They were all tied up to 24. The Eastwood Troopers hit a lot of out of bounds. They hit the net a lot too. They even hit the net on the serve. That really needs to be fixed right here. In fact, it does. We'll go into a three minute break. You're listening to Sebastian Perez Navarro and Saul Preciado on the KEHS Film and Broadcast YouTube channel. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. Officially one minute until the break ends. So, your hopes for set two? Hopefully it's just as good a set as the first one, but this time the Troopers can come up with the win. Now, taking a look at the Centennial Hawks, El Paso teams might not be very well familiar sized with them. However, in fact, they are a very good program. They are the 2021 district champs, where they swept Las Cruces, 3-0. They're three-time state champs, nine-time district champions, and four-time Sweet 16 champions. And they're coming off a really good year last season. They finished first year last year in 5A District 3. 
overall the Centennial Hawks, a great team nonetheless. And a big reason of why they're leading maybe? It is a great team, but let's not forget that Eastwood did beat them this past tournament. In fact, they did. Both teams swapping sides. We start off 0-0. The Hawks lead 1-0 in terms of sets. As we get ready for set number two. The student section is still roaring here. Sends it away as Walton. Taps it back, whistle blown. Point awarded to the Centennial Hawks. That's a foul committed by the Troopers. This is a point for the Centennial Hawks. In fact, that one going out of bounds. Checking the ref's ruling. The serve went out of bounds, and now Eastwood is not tied up at 1 1. In fact, it did. Liliana Lozano. Off the touch of her powerful hit. Ball went out of bounds. Serving it up, Fukua putting it down. That one saved by Delian Bounds. Bounds has been there to save it many times. Now Fukua lobs it up. That one saved. Kyla Crespin is there. Now Walton puts it down. Troopers still have it, able to keep it from going out of bounds. And a risky one there. Fukua trying to tap it in. Whistle blown, rewarded to the Eastwood Troopers. Not, by the Hawks. It hasn't been a very clean second set, to say the least. 2-1 as we stand. Sebastian Perez Navarro and Seol Preciado coming to you from the KEHS Film and Broadcast YouTube channel. With volleyball action. 2-1. Fukua slammed it down. Question is, did it stay in bound? And yes, it did. Just touched the line. That marks out of bounds. Mark it 2-2 for the Centennial Hawks. Hawks getting ready to serve. Kala able to get the hit on it. Slamming it down is Walton, but blocked. And the point awarded by the Eastwood Troopers. This is a great block and the Hawks cannot get it. A point to the Eastwood Troopers. Eastwood leads 3-2. to two. Saw the start from the Troopers. Sending it in is Clark. That one leaping save. What a dig by Rubalcaba. Really good day, but could not come up with a point. That's a point for the Hawks. 3-3 three, three as we stand. To serve it up is Bishop. Sends it in. Off the forearms of Clark. And that try to attack it in and not there. And Kyra Joseph scores. 4-3. The Hawks could not reach that one. And that's another point for Eastwood. from the student section trying to put some emotion into Trooper Arena. Sends it in and off of Ru Rubalcaba hits the net. Point awarded to the Hawks and it's 4-4. Four, four. The serve hit the net and now the, the teams are outside of four. Fukua sends it away. And that one ref having trouble who to call it for and awards the ace to the Hawks. Fukua. Fukua able to come up with it. They gave that point to the Hawks. And you can really hear the people with the disappointment from that. That should have been a point for the Troopers. They did not like that one bit from, from my point of view. It looked like it did stay in bounds before jumping to the left. 
Bishop sends it. The attack on the way. Walton notches it in. 6 4. That's a really good hole from the Hawks. The Troopers just could not block it. Back to what we were talking about during the break. Not a team to be overlooked, Saul. Yeah, the Centennial Hawks are not a team to be overlooked here. They've been playing great for the past few years. The assist by Bounds. That one hits their own side of the court and another point rewarded to the Hawks. 7-4, getting some deja vu of last set. Eastwood has not scored. They need to get a score back here as the Hawks have scored three in a row. Fukua up to serve. Sends it away. Clark not close enough to save the dig. Now the Hawks are up by four. Diving dig proves unsuccessful. Point by Fukua off the serve. 8-4. Hawks leading. Fukua again sends it away. That one with it back to Remarkava. Able to get a hand on it. Now the diving dig. That one out of bounds. Reward the other point to the Hawks. As the ball off the touch of Dillian Bounds went out of bounds. Went out of bounds. Cannot reach it. A lot of Hawks are up 9-4. to four. They are in fact... Fukua sends it away, and another ace, not able to get there. And a much needed timeout taken by the Eastwood Troopers. Hawks up 10-4. So what have we been seeing? Eastwood really needs to come up something here. They were tied 4-4, and now it's 10-4. And the Hawks have got six consecutive points, and Eastwood has not gotten up anything. In fact, Trooper Arena trying to get him. Energized. Has not been a pretty set for these with Troopers. It could be like the last set with the East with Troopers came back. The East with Troopers were down five at one yeah, point and they came back. There's no reason why they cannot do it again. They exactly did do that. It was a good couple of rallies going. They were getting a lot of touches off the net. In fact, it looks like the Hawks we're playing sloppy, but it seems as though they fixed that, at least for now. We'll see later on in the set. But yes, the Troopers can come back from this. They've been shown to come back from these types of losses as they started very shaky. They were 1-2 and two in the first three games of the season, but bounced back quickly going 11-14 in the last 14 games. Hawks will serve it up. Fukua into the four arms of Ramarcala. Oliva sends the attack, that one saved Oliva, sends it once again, that one, the dig, unsuccessful off the touch, out of bounds. Troopers notch it by five. Liso finally gets a point back. At the blink of an eye, 38 minutes to play as past us. And now sent up once again, putting it down is Walton, saved. And an amazing running dig is Jordan Clark able to prevent from going out of bounds. Rally still ongoing. Bishop sent it. Watson, the attack off the net. Counted once again, 6-10 Troopers. That was a great block from the Troopers. Last I said, the Troopers are coming back here. Will the predictions come to fruition? Trooper Arena hopes so. Off the touch. Sends it down, out of bounds. They hit by Cheyenne Olivas. Too hard. It's a good hit, just too much power in that one. 11-6, Sebastian Perez Navarro and Sao Preciado coming to you from Trooper Arena to the KEHS Film and Broadcast YouTube channel. Eleven six. the score, Hawks up on top. Serve sent in by Elena O'Brien. And the attack by Olivia Villegas proves successful. No, Counted 7 11. No chance for the Hawks to get that one. Not at all. A devastating kill by Olivia Villegas. 
decreases the blow. Now down by only four. Troopers will serve. It'll be Sofia Vasquez who will put it up. Launches it away. Diving dig by Bella Castro. Now the save by Revalvaca. Sends it down. It's bounds. Martin sent the attack. That one off the net. Counting at 8-11. We've seen a swift change of things. The Hawks look like they've gotten a little bit worse here. The Eastwood Troopers have gotten better and better. They're just coming back here. Indeed they are. However, as that one changes the tide, a botched hit results in a point for the Hawks. That one hit the net. 12-8. That's already three serves from the Troopers that hit the net. In fact, it is. Sends it away, diving save by Rebel Vaca. Gaba. Another diving dig. It's complete by Crespin. Sends it down. A furious hit is bound. But that was but that ball out of bounds resulted to the Hawks. It seems like the troopers have the same problem from the first set. They keep on hitting it out of bounds. Sending it away. Rebel Gaba. Hey, but I get a grasp on it. Now with another botched hit. Eastwood hits the net once again. 14-8 the score. Bella Crespin sends it in. However, that one hits the net by Kyla Crespin's serve. Point rewarded to the Troopers, 9-14. Troopers will send it in. It'll be Olivia Villegas with the serve. Into the inside. Off of Bella Castro. Slamming it down. It's Fukua. That one too much. Out of bounds. 10-14. Troopers now down by four. That one goes out of bounds. And the Troopers once again are trying to rally a comeback. That serve by Villegas hits the net. 15-10. That's a yet another serve that hits the map. We've seen a lot of that so far, Saul. How can both of these teams prevent that from doing? Both of these teams need to have more IQ with the map. They have to hit the serve more towards the other side. Revarcada off the arms. Slamming it down is Leah Francis Pereto. That one has successful. Here comes Fuqueto. That one saved out Sofia Vasquez. Slams it, bounce, slams it down. Diving leap by Kyla Crespin, who's successful. To throw on that ball, diving into us, out of bounds, but on the Troopers' side. Counted 16-10. The Hawks are now off by six. An amazing rally, kept off by Tess Fukua's attack. Well, team serves it. Off the touch of bounds. Sent in by Pavetto. Fukua sends it again. That one stays in bounds. Not looking good for the Troopers, but Fukua has been on fire. That hit really looked like it was going to go out of bounds, but it stayed just in bounds there. This has been Fukua's set. 17 10 now Slammed down again! Count another point, and in fact, Tessa Kua has been on fire. And it has been announced that this year's captain verbally committed to play to Arizona and Pac-12 action upcoming after her senior year. That has to be a lot about her, her skill set, knowing that she'll be competing in the Pac-12. It really goes to tell how great of a player she is. Kua saves it, sets it up. A soft attack. Now trying to tape it in is Emma Morales. Saved by Crespin. Now trying to put it in is Beckham. 19-10. Hawks up by nine. The Easter Troopers come yet another timeout. And much needed too. Crazy turn of events. Do the Troopers have a chance from coming back down 19-10? 
I do believe they have a chance, but they really have to step their game up because the Hawks are playing at a great level right now. This is the number three ranked team in prep one power rankings, and that's for a reason. That's for their good record. That's for being undefeated in district, even though they've only played one game. However, they do have 36 points for and 17 points again. So overall, they've scored more points than they've given up. Therefore, they can score. They can come back from decreases and deficits like this. Let's just hope that the Eastwood Troopers can rally here. Hopefully, they can tie it up like the last set. Coach Bajak talking to his team. Not the happiest facial expression, but not one of losing hope. The Hawks just need six more points to win this set. Scary fact for the troopers that not many want to hear as Walton will get set for the serve. Sends it away down in the middle. Touches that forearms of Rubercaba. Now bounds, sets it out of bounds. There's been too much power on these hits, hasn't there? There's been too much power. Almost all of these hits are going out of bounds. And now we sit 2010. It'll be a far cry. The troopers can come back, but Watson serve hits the net. Much needed point for the troopers. This will get the point back on a serve that hit the net with the Hawks. To send it away is Dillian Bounds. Fires off the forearms of Crespin. Fukua to put it away. Diving dig by Rurikawa is good. Now to try to put it through. That was actually a point for the Hawks because it went out of bounds. In fact, it did. The hit, the attack, inaccurate. 21 11. Four points for a Hawks set victory. Hawks lead the set 1-0. They lead the current set 21-11. It's been domination so far. The Hawks has made four more points to Eastwood's 14 points. To serve it up is Castro. Long rally. Bishop with the assist. Fukua with the attack. We've seen loads of those. But now the Troopers try one. Diving dig by Crespin proved successful as that attack by Rio Planeta doesn't and Fukua added on has been on fire so far. Eastwood is now down by 11. Sends it down. Rubercala able to save it. Can the troopers come back from this? Whistle blows. Another point awarded. It hasn't only been the bad hits so it hasn't only been the hits in that, but it's also been a lot of just breaking the simple rules, hasn't it? Yes, the troopers have to step up their game here as the Hawks only need two more points here. It's 23-11, chances dwindling for the troopers to win this set. Saved by Crespin, putting it up for Kua, putting it down. That one saved, bounds. So the assist off bounds, Kyra Joseph able to put it down the middle and the diving dig by Bella Castro proves unsuccessful, 12-23. The Troopers get a point back but they're still down by 11. Clark sends it in and not enough power on that one, 24-12. Off the hit that bounced off the net. And that's the fifth serve on both sides that hits the net for the Eastern Troopers. One more point, the Hawks can put it away. Trooper Arena doesn't want that. You can hear the claps coming in from the Junior Varsity team and the volleyball team. And notch at the end. Try to save it, but out of bounds it goes. Hawks take it in a commanding way. 25 to 12 and now lead the game to nothing which is exactly what Eastwood wanted in the Husman tournament now the tables have flipped 
but it doesn't mean it's over. It definitely does not mean it's over. Eastwood can still get this win. We just need to step up our game here as the Hawks have been playing great and they took over this last set. Overall, pretty good. Sebastian Pérez Navarro and Simon Preciello coming to you to the KEHS Film and Broadcast YouTube channel. We'll be back with more volleyball action after the break. Welcome back to the KEHS Film and Broadcast YouTube channel. Sebastian Pérez Navarro and Simon Preciello bringing you live commentary of tonight's East Florida Varsity Volleyball game as the Eastwood High School's Varsity Girls roster takes on Centennial High School. Simon Preciello, not a very good outing going into set three. These were troopers. They're down two, but they can still come back. Knowing yeah. what this team can do, knowing the position that they put this this place in, knowing the position that this team is currently in with the record of 15 to 15, what is the biggest focus going in? I think the biggest focus going in is to fix all those mistakes they've been making, hitting the hitting the net, going out of bounds. They really need to fix their blocking too. In fact, they do. A little less than eight seconds on the break. Whistle blows. Play will come back into fashion. The Troopers are not strangers to comebacks. In fact, before the Hoosman tournament, they're coming off a stellar 3-2 victory versus Pebble Hills, where they came back down to one. And they went into five sets, winning the last two. So therefore, they can come back against these teams. And in fact, Pebble Hills is their solo district win, which is the reason for their number four position in the 6A Region 1 District 1 Division. They can't come back from these. This one's going to be a little tougher as they're down 2-0 opposed to 2-1. Troopers have shown that they can win two sets in a row. Let's see if they can show that determination here. Biggest concern that you want to stop is you need to stop the constant fouls, right? Yes. Obviously, because that's where, the most, that's where most of the beginning points in set two came from. They came from fouls, careless fouls, and hitting the ball off the net. There's a lot of hitting the ball off the net for the Eastwood Troopers. Back at it. To serve is bound. Who takes it is Crespin. Who sets it is Castro. And who puts it away is Fukua. That one unsuccessful. And now Carla Joseph tries to attack Fukua. Once again, powerful strike. Troopers take point one. That was a really powerful strike, but just out of bounds. Hit did end up going out of bounds. Now bounds sets it in. Push up off the assist. Kukua diving save attempted by Bekinunis. Comes up unsuccessful. Kukua back in action. There's absolutely no chance that these Troopers can get that one. It was just such a powerful shot. Diving dig by Hidafala. Rally still up. Pukua has to put it away now. Bounce off the net, but into the area of the Troopers. That attack unsuccessful. Pukua sends it inside. Diving leap by Muniz. And now a point rewarded to the Centennial Hawks. Fukuo once again blasted in. Troopers tried to save that one, but they did more than three hits on that. Joseph has been showing it so far. She's been on the attacks for the Troopers, but trailing 2-1. Coming in, Bishop tried to put it over. Have a chance to sit up. Fukua tries to put it away. And she does. 3 1. Bajak coming to talk to his team. It's not looking really good here for the Troopers, but they can still come back. Fires down off the forearms of Solis. Notch the point for the Hawks once again. That ball off the Solis went out of bounds for one. It's another hit that hit the net. That's already six hits where the Eastern Troopers that hit the net.
Castro will be serving it up. Slamming it down is Isabella Sainz. That one saved by Muniz. Balance gets a touch on it. Tries to put it down is Mia Solis. Unsuccessful. Back to Walton. And Walton completes it. 5 1 is the score. Not looking all that great at the start of set three. For these troopers. That's the Centennial Hawks. Fit the net on the serve. That's a point for the Eastwood Troopers. 2-6, Eastwood Troopers able to get a much needed point. 5-2. 6-2 is the score. Up to serve is Mia Solis. Sends it away. Doesn't get the ace. Fukua able to just save it. And too many touches for the Centennial Hawks. Counted points. Eastwood Troopers. 5-3. A little mishap with the scoreboard there. So... Before we started, in fact, funny story, the scoreboard was gone. There was no Wi-Fi in the entire arena. There was no Wi-Fi, and everybody was panicking here, except us, because we're streaming live. Like, we're streaming on KU and TSF on the YouTube channel. The beauty of just audio by itself. 6-3, Hawks lead. Up to serve. Bishop, Marianne Bishop fires away. That one saved. Trying to put it away is Olivia. Walton fires. That one saved by Lamacaba. Now trying. Joseph tries. No good. Sets it up. Attacking is the three. Hits the net. Awarded. Much needed point to the Eastwood Troopers. 6 4. That was a really good block from the Eastwood Troopers. Troopers started to show the determination they had against Pebble Hills. Puts it down. That one just goes out of bounds. That's a point for the Eastwood Troopers. Big Jack trying to fight it. And in fact, it will go in favor of the Eastwood Troopers. 5-6. Five, five, Villegas is served. That one short. Hits the net. 7-5. That's another serve that hits the net for the Eastwood Troopers. Up to serve. Fires away. That one saved by Sofia Vasquez. Trying to put it down as Muniz. Unsuccessful and out of bounds. 8 5. Just when it looked like Eastwood was coming back, they were, they were down 6 5, but now they're down 8 to 5. Troopers still have a long way to go. Fukua sends it in. Diving dig. Sending it up is Joseph. Putting it down is Muniz, but puts it down to the face of the net. 9-10, Hawks lead. Nine to five. Who serves it up? Vasquez, anybody gonna touch on it? Trying to put it down is Emma Morales, but a hard block and diving to the ground goes Mar Marianne Bishop. And the Hawks are now up 9-6. to six. The attack proved successful by the Troopers now only down by 3 points. But this very important set. Because the loss of this set marks the end of the game. Troopers don't want to end it off that early in front of their home crowd. The set. The attack. Trying to save a point out of bounds. A spectacular dig made by Borgantaba. But out of bounds. Couldn't handle the ball off the dig well. Reward the point, Centennial Hawks. That was a great hustle for the Eastwood Troopers, but just could not get it in bounds from that play. Didn't end well. It looked like it was going to, but it didn't. Centennial Hawks will serve it up. This one's Walton. The dig by Vasquez proved successful. Rally still ongoing. Brian able to get the set. The attack by Walton. Walton sends it out of bounds. Trooper points. 
seven ten. Sebastian Perez Navarro and Tom Preciado coming to you. Today, KEHS Film and Broadcast YouTube channel. You're watching Volleyball Commentary. So, your thoughts on set three? Isu really has not patched up those mistakes, and the Hawks keep playing great here. Muniz sends it away. Diving dig by Bishop and put away by Walton. 11 7. It's the score. Hawks have been putting on a show. And not the show that the Trooper home crowd wants to see. Crespin serves it. Taken in by Clark. Tries to put it down and successful in her put down is Emma Morales. That one went out of bounds. It was a point for the Hawks. Point for the Hawks. Powerful put down. From our point of view, it could have looked like it went out of bounds, but out of bounds it goes. Not very accurate on the hit. And a diving dig by Clark. Taking herself to the ground, but 13-7, ball going out of bounds. This would call a much needed timeout here. The points have been coming fast and furious, right? However, they haven't been coming because of the furious attack of this attack of the Hawks. Yes, the Hawks have been on fire, especially Fukua and Walton. Assists from Bishop have been crucial. However, the Tigers have made out of bounds hit after out of bounds hits. And there's no stop in sight. The Hawks have been playing really good here. These troopers are a little sloppy. Let's see if they can get back in this. 13-7. If we jump to the near future of this Eastwood team, they take on Eldorado this Friday at home. Eldorado has a record 2-10, all in one in district, and number eight in their own district. So they should have an easy comeback in if the result of this game were to stay. However, past details proves otherwise as they've won 11 of their past 14. So it's not time to hit the pan again yet for the Eastman Troopers. Still have a long ways to go as that attack by Jordan Clark almost got there but not cut. Fukua sends it in. Diving dig by Hernandez. Sends it up in the air. Fukua once again sets it. Fires! That's the point for Beckin. 14-7. The Hawks continue to play amazing here. These Troopers just don't have an answer for it. 14-7 is the score. Slams it down off the block. What an attack. Mia Solis even off the block and off the hands of the Hawks. It stays in the bounds, takes the bounds that they exactly wanted and much needed momentum now for the Eastwood Troopers. What did you say, Saul? Yes, much needed momentum here. Eastwood finally gets a serve to her side. Bishop again on the assist. Walton, that hit, too much power on it. Even the coach says, Eastwood point. Rallying back from it. Could say there's magic in the air. Eastwood is rallying back here. Two consecutive points. A nice serve made by Rubercava. Hawks have it on their side. Rubercava able to come up in the clutch. Now serve it. Fires. Olivas able to get that point. Yes, she does. Four point game. And that's the third consecutive point for the Eastwood Troopers. They have come back to life here. Feeling the blue and gold running through their veins. It is Spirit Week after all. Never mind that. Libercava <laughs> on the serve. Hits the net. 15-10 Hawks point. Might have jinxed it there. The student section needs to come alive here to help its fellow Eastwood Troopers. Walton sends it in. Troopers on the front lines and off a diving dig of the Centennial Hawks the Troopers are able to notch it after that ball goes out of bounds 11-15 
Hawks are up by four, exactly. Troopers able to get back to the side. So what have the Troopers been doing right? The Troopers have been playing much better here by not hitting it out of bounds. They've been playing a better formation here, and the Hawks are struggling to adjust to it. 12-15. Troopers feeling it. Jordan Clark feeling it. Canary winding from the sideline, and now Coach Payjack giving a talk to his team as the Centennial Hawks take a much needed timeout after giving up over five points. 15 12 is the score. Sebastian Perez Navarro and Sam Preciado coming to you from the KEHS Film and Broadcast YouTube channel, providing live commentary as we go. We thank you for joining us tonight. We are currently in set three. This has been a really good set. This one is coming back. The Hawks are playing great. The Hawks. The Troopers don't want to go home empty-handed like this. They don't want to lose 3-0 here. The Troopers will give it it all just to win the set. It's been a night of mistakes, you could say, from the Wi-Fi going out to the Troopers not starting well, but now 13-15 being scored. Altering the scoreboard. You could say that the Troopers are feeling their mojo back. Hard hit. Setting up to Fukua, hits the hit. Now the Troopers down by one. We have to put a spotlight a little bit on Marianne Bishop. She's been there for almost every one of the assists. So what have you seen from her? She's been a great, good player here. It's a very impactful for her team. Trying to set it down. Powerful hit by Mary Beckham. Doesn't have enough loft to go over the net. The Mark Eastwood Troopers just have, just have tied this game right here. Yes, exactly. 15-15 on set number three. Too well as the Hawks have it. Just a moment ago, we were down 15-10. Now it's 15-all. Fukua sends it down in a diving dig. A tough ball to defend, but Rukalkama is able to do that. Now trying to dive themselves out of it. Having some mishaps. Rally still ongoing. Could this be the Troopers' golden opportunity? As the Centennial Hawks didn't look lined up there. Oliva sends it. Rally still ongoing. Fukua slams it down. Saved by Bounds. It goes out of bounds. That's the point for the Hawks. Long rally. Ends disappointingly, however, for the Eastwood Troopers. Hawks leaded. 16-15. Bella Castro will be the one to serve it up. Sends it down in the middle of the Troopers. Bounds. Takes it. Fires away as Olivas. Bishop to Fukua. We've seen this tandem. Diving dig by Rubercaba. Castro to Bishop to Fukua. Once again, it feels like deja vu. But this one hits the net. 16-16. We are tied. This is a great game right here. All tied up here. Let's see if the Eastwood Troopers can come up with a set. Timeout by the Centennial Hawks after holding a much needed lead. We've seen some pretty good volleyball. Yes, the score is 2 0. But we've seen long rallies. We've seen good plays. And a lot we've seen a lot of grit and determination from these two teams. They have not been hesitant to dive to the floor when needed. They have not been hesitant to make hard digs when needed. And that says a lot about both teams. Both teams have a lot of hard here. And both teams are giving it their all just to win this game. Getting ready to commence play. It looks like the Hawks have said what they needed to say. Troopers now breaking apart the huddle. Both teams need nine points to win the set. 16-16. Set number three, we're in the middle of it. In the middle of Trooper Arena. Loud, get their life, life sucked back into them. That reception taken by Chrisman. Point counted for the Troopers. And now the Troopers are up on the scoreboard, 17-16. 17-16, exactly that, so. Ball hit out of bounds. Now the Troopers with the serve sending in. Bishop to Fukua. That one a great block by Becca Muniz. Fukua sends it in once again. Saved by bounds. Muniz 
Davis on the attack. Bounces off the top of the net. Bishop sends it. Walton and finishes it. 17-17, we are tied. Good, short, but exciting rally. Now the troopers go up on one again as the serve, as the serve hits the net. Exactly it did on the serve of Bishop. Olivia Villegas up to serve. Fires it down the middle. Fukua able to receive it. Diving dig by Olivas. That one saves it from going out of bounds. Vasquez with a powerful dig. Oh, so too many here for the triples and could not get it back over to that. Too many touches. 18-18. Sebastian Pedro and Tone Priscello coming to you to the KEHS Women Broadcast YouTube channel providing live commentary. We are not done yet. Trooper is not going up without a fight. They may trail 2-0. However, the game is tied 18-18. That hit by Bounds goes up. De Marcava able to get the assist. How the attack was unsuccessful? And now bouncing off the net, Kayla Hernandez takes the lead for the Centennial Hawks. That's another hit that goes out of bounds for the Eastwood Troopers as they go down by one here. The hit of the block went out of bounds, not the direction you want it to go to. Hawks will serve for Kua. Bounds, long serve, but it's like a good one with good positioning. Bounce, sends it once again, and Bounce draws it up. Notch it, 19-19. This is a really back and forth game. We're being treated to a really good game here. We're seeing good volleyball from both teams. It does look like the three-time state champions that show up. But it also looks like the 15 and the 5 Eastwood Troopers showed up. Both teams being great teams. Both teams beating great teams. And now facing each other inside Trooper Arena in a back-to-back -back confrontation. Sends it. Levar Calva able to save it. Launches it up. Saved. Bishop. To Walton. Saved. Put it up by Hernandez. And off the block, an attack. Hawks up by one. Counted for Emerson Gunn. That was a really good block by the Hawks. 10-19. Set three. This game is close and it might not end at 25. Reception taken in. Hernandez puts it up for Morales. Still saved. Players having to pick each other back up. Remarcaba able to get for the reception. And Morales slams it down 20-20. The Troopers still have the Troopers spare to come back here. Game tie 2020, Troopers got that 2020 vision back. Jordan Clark comes back in the game. Sofia Vasquez comes out of the game for the Eastwood Troopers. Clark sends the serve. Bishop to Walson. Diving dig by Clark. One that you've got to commend her for it. Reception taken in by Bella Clastro. Fukua tries to put it in. Diving dig by Rebulcava. Castro saves it. Up, out of position. And it looks like that was just a fault of position. Two people were there at the same time. Couldn't agree where their ball was going to be placed. 21-20, trooper lead. Now the Eastwood Troopers just need four points to get one set. Have to take this to another set. Indeed they do. It's been a close one. Eastwood Troopers have the lead. Clark sends it in. Fukua, that's it. Watson puts it down. No, diving dig by Clark. She has been on fire with those. Watson, too much power. And now the Troopers have the cushion. And now the student section comes back to life here.
Cook sends it. Gosh, for receives. Fukua puts it down. Running to save us over Calva. Fukua. Dig by Hernandez. Now the attack was unsuccessful with the block. But Balance able to get back on it. Now the attack by Mia Solis proves bad. Push up to Walton. Walton's attack still keeps on going as it's blocked. Well, he's still fighting its way. Clark able to defend it when Calva sets it up. Solis attack. Bishop serves it. Send this for Pua. Whistle blows a roll into the troopers. Too many touches by the Hawks. 23 to 20 is our score. It seems like the whistle troopers are going to get the first set here. Here we go! And a nice one put it down the middle by Fukua. It's now 23 to 21 troopers. Two point lead for these two troopers. That's what you need to notch it down. Crispin fires. But for the value back. With the attack is Morales. Fukua sends it. Hernandez with the dig. Robert Calva able to set it up. Attack doesn't prove his by bounds. Clark sends it. Solis attack. Rally still going long. Rallies back to back. Bounce. Solis fires. Diving dig by Crespin. Fukua tried to put it in softly. Back and forth we go. Long rally. Walton tried to put it away, but hits the back of the net. Troopers are one from winning the set. And the fans here are cheering up their troopers, as we know that we're one point from winning the set here. 24-21. Sebastian Pérez Navarro and Tom Preciado coming to you live from Trooper Arena. What a powerful hit by Fukua. Results in a hot point just went over by a little. 24-22. It is getting loud. The Troopers still need only one point to win this set. is Jaslyn Vasquez. Fires. Diving Out of bounds. Give it to the Hawks. 24-23 game as close as ever. That one looked like it was going to stay in bounds as the fans came to a roar. But no, it was out of bounds and it was a point for the Hawks. Sent it in. Risky territory. Almost had a mouthful of trooper. Solis sends it. Taken in by Castro. Bishop to Fukua. We've seen a lot of hot down for the legs and good by Lillard Calva. Bound sends in the attack. Fukua sets it. Bishop taps it. Back to the troopers. Hernandez to Solis. A big block by the troopers. Clark able to get some of it in. Bounds sends it in on the touch. Last touch up coming for Fukua to put it away. Diving in. Hawks have just tied it up. This has been so real. Oh my. And it's now all tied up at 24 here. Will you ever see, will you ever listen to anything better? Troopers take it 25 24. And the Trooper fast are really feeding these Trooper players right now. We know that we're just one point away from this set. One point away from winning it. This is intense. Bounds serves it. Taking it by Fukua. Fukua, central line. That one coming out of the action, trying to save it. Hot point, 
And for a second there, we really thought we were going to get hit. <laughs> they all run us over right there, but they did it. But unfortunately, that was a point for the Hawks. Time out taken by the Hawks. 25-25, Saul. How is this going to end? I believe in the Troopers. We can do this right here. We have been playing great in this set, and we, I believe that we can go into the next one. Let's just go ahead and take a look at what's in the future for the Centennial Hawks. They take on four non-district games after the day. After those four games, the battle for number one commences. They're going to be back-to-back -to -back about with opponents, and the thing with their schedule is it's going to go 50-50. One home game, one away game for these two Troopers. After the El Dorado game, they will visit the number three ranked team in the district, Coronado, on Tuesday of next week. And Coronado is ranked number two in the Prep One Power Rankings, so it's going to be a battle, to say the least. Buzzer beats 25 25. Everyone is shaking. Student section on their feet. Gustavo sends it in. The attack by Solis. Gustavo saves it out of formation. It looked like able to save it. Fukua knocks it down. That went dangerous. Fight. Sebastian. Hold on the suspense music because you will never hear more shaking than this. Bishop, and I have a feeling we're just going to go on forever. Yes, but it's such an amazing game. It's all tied at 26 now. But we can go maybe up to 30 at this point. In wrestling, there's a chant that states Fight forever here. We want to be here and play forever because of what we've been shown. An amazing game by both of these teams. An amazing set. Fighting good. Unsuccessful. 27-26. Troopers close to putting it away as in comes Emma Morales on the sub. Troopers need one more point to win the set. That is barring a point from the Hawks. That one. Which at this point, who knows what's going to happen. Puts it up. Fukua can't put it down. That one saved. Bounds to Menis. To Muniz. Fukua saves it for going out. One more touch. I'm going to put it over the line. Watch it. And that's it. And he's still going to run a sunset here. 28, 26. There will be a fourth set. After an amazing third set. Saul, your thoughts on what we just saw? It was an amazing game by both teams, but these two just show the heart that it takes to be a trooper. And they have come back here and are there at that 2 1. <laughs> 2 1. Players switching sides of the court. I don't know if you can catch it. Right now, the student section was just cheering. This is awesome. And for a reason, this is awesome. This has been an awesome game. We're being cheering here. Everybody knows it. And just let's just hope that Eastwood comes out with the win. Amazing resiliency. Amazing digs. Do you want to break those down? The digs have been great here. Both teams have been showing great digs, especially the Eastwood Troopers. The Eastwood Troopers have been coming up with a lot of digs here. No stop it now. We keep going. An amazing showcase. Troopers still need to win one more set. After that, will they be gassed to do so? The Troopers, I believe they can win this set. And if they do, we'll go to a fifth set where it's the decider. Let's just hope that the Eastwood Troopers come out with it. Eastwood home card, a much needed break from everybody. Under one minute and 30 seconds till the fourth set begins. And I don't think such a short break has people ready for what's to come next set. So what after what we just saw? I believe that this set is gonna be a great set for both teams. There's no time that both teams are playing great. Let's just see who comes up with the win here. 
Hawks come onto the court first. What will the Hawks create in this set, losing their first one? How will that damage or uplift their motives or feelings? Morale may be a little down right now for the Hawks. I feel like they will come back. They might do better here. You never just never know. But the Troopers do look a lot better too. They're fixing a lot of those mistakes on the first two sets. Indeed they are. Troopers now coming back under 30 seconds to go. Sebastian Pedro Navarro. And Sour Preciado coming to you from the KHS Film and Broadcast YouTube channel bringing you live commentary of today's game. If we are pierced your ears, we are truly sorry. But this has been a game for the ages, especially set three. Just can't get over the magic that was riling back Trooper Arena, saying, hey, you know what? We can come back from this. The Troopers may have started slow, but that has been the story all throughout the season. Everybody here in Trooper Arena has been roaring, and we've been carrying on our Eastwood Troopers here. Deja vu of Pebble Hills. The ref says, are you ready? So the real question is, is everybody ready for set four? Yes, we are. We are away. Bounds, sets it, to lease, fires, out of bounds. First point to the Hawks. And that's the first set that the Hawks get the first point. But that proved to be a difference here. Walton sends it. And a bad touch by Hernandez results. And another two points. Not the start you wanted to have after that incredible third set. Walton will serve again. Fires, hits the net. Got him a power, one, two, two. That one hit the net for the Hawks, and now the Troopers are gonna serve here. This is now two to one. This game has been filled with a lot of long rallies. We've seen, and that one, the serve by bounds hits the net. One point Hawks, three one. A lot of long rallies that we've seen. The exhaustion on these players and the stamina has to be dwindling. Yes, the exhaustion has to be doing Lily here, but these players are all showing hard, and I am sure that they will go to the very end. Too much power on the serve by Castro. 13 for 9, 13 for 9. 5 and 10, 5 and for 10. Leah Pevetto will come in for Jordan Clark. Sofia Vasquez will come in. We'll serve it up. That one a low dig. Fukua is able to put it away. That one looked like it might have been out of bounds, but they say it's inbounds, and that's a point for the Hawks. I'm guessing it touched the line. If the ball touches the line, makes contact with the line, it still counts as a point. So I'm guessing it was right there. As we saw from our point of view, it could be a little blurry at that time. Sending it in, Trooper Slick at Vasquez, bounce, sets it. Fires, powerful hit by Pavetto. Results in a hot point, out of bounds. That one, definitive. Coach Bajak, not looking the happiest right now. But this has been something usual for the Eastwood Troopers. We've been down in every set and have come back in every set. We just showed it in set three and we will do it here again. Bounce, sets it. is unable to avoid the block and another point for the Centennial Hawks. Great defense. It's now 6-2 Hawks. So what have you been seeing from the blocks? Consistent with it. They've had good defense overall. What do you think? The Hawks have been showing a lot of good defense, a lot of great blocks, great digs. They have been playing much better here in the fourth set. That one ricocheted off the net. Coming for Tess Kapoor. That's another point for the Hawks. And that's a future Pac-12 player dominating the Trooper Arena. Whether for better or for worse, Trooper's up. Excuse me, Hawks up, second two. Bounds. Early attack. Slamming it. 
block, and the point will be awarded. Please, two troopers, too many judges on Centennial's side. That was a really good block from the East for Troopers right there. Rubalcaba will serve it. Fires this for Kua. Up, up, and away. The serve by Bishop. Fukua trying to end it off. No good. Rebel Calva is there. The shot sent in by Joseph. Rally still ongoing. The little touch. Bounds back. Whistle blows. Too many touches on the side of the Hawks. 4 7. That was a really long sequence, but the troopers come up with the point on that one. From the troopers on it now. Olivas diving dog by Walton. Putting it up just slightly lofting it in. Rubal Carva sending it in the way of Bishop. Castro is there. Rally still going on. One of the many long rallies. And that attack that hits the net by Pedro is still in bounds. And now the ball goes out of bounds. I will just stay in bounds. It's a point for the troopers. It's now seven to five hawks. Seven to five. Up to serve. Puts it up. Slams it down. Too much power taken and received by Vasquez. Big one saved. Up in the air. Not that much power. Slams it. Not able to make the dig. Walks in and misses it. Goes out of bounds, however, 8-5. Ref was even wondering what to do with the signal there. Decides out of bounds. Fukuo with the serve. Sent to Trooper's direction, the Libro takes it. Puts it up, slams it down. Fukuo saves it, that one way out of bounds. 6-8, two-point game. We're having a great game here, just like set three. Back and forth as we go. Slams it. Takes it. Puts it down. Close one near the net. Now that one off the touch. Too many touches right there. Troopers celebrate. Another point. Troopers are down by one now. Up to serve. Hernandez. Taking the reception is Castro. Hard attack by Walton. Levin Salva puts it up. Bounds off the net, but touches out. Waiting for the ref signal. The ref signals Eastwood Trooper points. 8-8. Eight, eight. We are all tied up. Hernandez puts it up in the air. Taken by Olivas. Like Castro, ball goes out of bounds, hot points. These troopers attempted to block that one, but too, just too much power from that shot for the Hawks. Sends it down, hits the net. Off the serve of Elena O'Brien. This is a really good game as we're tied at nine. Nine, nine is the score and here we go. They sub in number nine, Jordan Clark. Jordan Clark will be up to serve first. For these with troopers. Whistle blows, here we go. Serves it highly off the forearms. The set, the attack, the dipping dig. Troopers keep it alive. So he's trying to put it down. Not enough power. It hits the face of the net. 10 9. Game is close. That one hit the net again. That's a problem that they had in the first two sets. 
They really have pace in the third set. That's the first time we've seen that in a while. Crespin will send it in. Puts it up, slamming it down is Olivia. However, can it do it? Now a big hit by Fugea. Out of bounds. Notch it, Hawk points. The Hawks are up 11 to nine now. Make that 10 to 11. As Kayla Crispin's serve hits the, the face of the net. We've seen a lot of that so far. Not stopping. So, your thoughts on set four as we reach close to the halfway point? It has been a very back and forth set. I'm just as excited to see who's going to win this one. Hernandez puts it up. Putting it down is bounds. How would that one block? Have a new set of position. Olivas trying to slam it home. Now here comes the Hawks. Out of bounds off the touch of Olivas. Results. And a hot point up by two as Oliva is subbed out. Sends it. Clark stretches. Solis tries to put it down. Save. Fukua puts it down. That one saved by Hernandez. Now here come the incoming blocks. And too many touches for the troopers. Notch it. Three point lead, 13 10. Sebastian Perez Barro alongside Son Preciado coming to you from Jupiter Arena in the KHS Women Broadcast YouTube channel, bringing you live commentary from Eastwood Varsity Volleyball action. The Hawks are a little bit of a run there, two consecutive points. Ready for the diving day with Walton. Here comes powerful hit by Fukua. Not even the dig attempt by Nubal Calva is able to prevent that from being a point. Celebrations from the Centennial sideline. 14-10 is the score. Coach Bajak looking frustrated. The Hawks have had a good run here as they just had three consecutive points right there. Indeed they did. 14-10. So, what have you seen from the Hawks out of play? They're obviously leading, but not without their mistakes. They have had some mistakes, but they are making a few ones still. But they have been playing really good. But so have the Troopers here. Less than 30 seconds remaining in this timeout. Troopers getting ready. Have not given up hope yet. After what, still have a long ways to remain in this set. 14-10 is the score. Up to service Walton for C for Centennial. Fires it away off the hands of bounds. Yes, the spike is good. Count it for Emma Morales. 11-14 is your score. Troopers down by three. So thoughts on the spike? Troopers are really coming back here. Being an amazing game. Feeling it now. Sets it up with Fukua. And a really good diving dig. <laughs> Trying to save it from going out of bounds. Can't do it. Hits the left side of the court. Troopers take another point. 12 14 is the score. 2 to 1 set count. Diving this, Fukua tries to put it away once again. This one, did she prove successful? Yes, she did. Left counted in favor of the Hawks. That one just tucked in into the left corner. It was a great shot with very good accuracy. Hawks up to serve. Castro will give it away, taken in by Rubal Calma. Out of bounds. Too much power on Walton's hit. Results in Trooper points. 13-15 is the score. As 
as we said, this is a really back and forth game. Both teams showing a great amount of heart here. Sends it off. Setting up. Attacking. Check it. Tuber point just out of bounds. Score 14-15. Can we get a score check? Troopers will get the serve. Ooh, uh, trying to put it away. Harsh block off the hands of Joseph. Results. And Hawk lead. Ref gets it to the Hawk. 14-16. 14-16 is the score. Actually, 16 and 13 here. Make it 17-13 after the end of last hit. The Hawks are up by four here. Sends it away. Notch it for the Hawks. Powerful serves, powerful passes, powerful attacks. The serve by Bishop. Troopers now coming back with it. The attacking. Trying to seven over his gun and gun gets it successful. 19-14, creeping up to that 25. Saul with the Hawks putting it away here. It seems like the Hawks are kind of running away with this one, but the Troopers can still rally back here. Diving dead by Rukar Valga. Rubar Karba's impressive dig. She's been a force to be reckoned with in this game. She's done a really good job at her position. Yes, the mistakes have been incoming, but the digs have been there and they've been trifle. However, still the Hawks lead by 6 20 to 14. The Hawks just need five more points to win the set and the game. Putting it down is Joseph. Diving forward is Bishop. Trying to score is Hernandez. Counting these with Trooper touchdown after the deflection dropped onto the ground. 15 20. Five point game. It's a 2-1 set led by the Centennial Hawks. This set would mean the end of the game. The Calma serves it. Slams it down, but was it too much? Yes, it was. Hernandez is attacked. Too much, 16-20, Troopers. And this is looking like a deja vu from set three, where the Troopers were down big, and they came back and won the whole set. You can call them the rulers of the comeback. I'm leaving at 15. <laughs> Fires, sets it. Fires away down. That volleyball saved on the diving dig by Vasquez. Now fires away. I went almost out of bounds. Saved by the Hawks. Fukua fires, and that one, off the touch, falls down to the ground, close to the net. Reward the point to the Hawks. Lead by five, 21 to 16. Hawks just need four more points here. Fuku up to serve. That one just missed off a bounce hand. 22-16, dangerous territory for the Eastwood Troopers. If they have any hopes of keeping this game alive, as a much needed timeout is taken by Bayjack. What can they be seeing in the huddle in their, res in their respective teams? The Hawks have been playing great. I imagine they want to put this away. But the Troopers are also playing really good. They want to come back and let they did the last set. 16-22. It's been a hard-fought game. will be coming back with the serve will be the Hawks. Fukua will launch it away. 22-16, here we go. The buzzer probably the last. 
montage of play. Here we go. Now we're received. Attacking is Olivia. The attack by Walton. Hit back on the backwards attack. Hard one there. Rally still on go. Takes it. Fires. Sets it up. Fires away down. That ball coming into our direction. Save going out of bounds. Walton does so. Leaping dig. And that one out of bounds off the hands of Fukua. 17-22. Troopers are coming back here as usual. Hernandez with serve. Receives the key. Fires away. That one a strong one and counts it. Fukua added to the streak. And now 23-17. And the Hawks just need two more points to win the whole game. Overall, the Centennial Hawks have been the better team today. But the wit shown between these two teams, the physicality shown between these two teams, you can't pin the blame on none of them for trying because they have been giving it their all. Has that a much needed score to point? For the Eastwood Troopers, 18-23 we stand. Clark sends it. The attack by Fukua. Oh, what a deep dig! Trying to put it away. That one blocked by Walton. Trying to put it away once again, but this time to the other side and able to find the crease is Olivia. Olivia Villegas. 23-19. Troopers coming back. Trying to force a fifth set. That was a timeout call by the Hawks. Not wanting to lose their mojo here after back-to-back -back points being scored by these Switch Troopers. Win or lose, we can say this game has been an absolute plastic haul. Yes, it has been an absolutely great game. Everybody who came here is getting their money for us out of this game. With it being spirit season, Spirit Week, the Troopers want to go into the middle of the week. We're not carrying on that spirit. They will need to win two sets in a row to do so. Cork sends it in. That one received an attack by Watson. Out of bounds. Off the hands of Hernandez. Clark is able to save that one after going deep, deep, deep. But now the Troopers off formation. Now they're back on the formation. A close knit attack. Slamming it down. Out of bounds. One more point and it'll be a Hawk win. Too much power on the bounds. Hit. And the Hawks will try to close it out right here. Let's see if the Troopers can come back here. Here we go. This could possibly be the thing to end it all. Could this be the last rally? Olivia Vallegas sent it. Count it. Troopers. Deflected off the net. The Hawks up by four now, but they still need only one more point to win the whole game. I like it better though. 2024. Here we go. The attack by Fukia to put it away. No good. Troopers defend well. Here comes Bounds on the attack. Getting ready to position that ball. Keep it from going out of bounds. Back to the Troopers. Bounds setting it up. Hernandez. That one. Difficult and out of bounds. And mark it the finale. A disappointing ending. But a great game nonetheless. Absolute great show by the two teams. But it ends in a 3-1 score. By the Centennial Hawks. So, what your closing thoughts? It was an amazing game. Unfortunately, the Eastern Troopers could not come up with the win, but it was it was an amazing game by both teams. 
Thank you for joining us tonight. Sebastian Perez Navarro and Samuel Preciado coming to you live from KHS Film and Broadcast YouTube channel. We'll see you next time. Thank you.